Ciao mondo, hello world, hola mundo, hello mom, konnichiwa, ni hao, namaste. We are here today with a cappuccino with uh, Dr. Sabrina Milan and myself uh, at the Peritoneal Dialysis Center in Vicenza following a very interesting course on PD we made a few days ago and we follow up with the cappuccino on the two important cyclers available for automated peritoneal dialysis. We start today with Home Choice uh, Claria, which is uh, manufactured by Baxter, and I have the pleasure to listen to Dr. Sabrina Mila about the characteristics of this machine. So, Sabrina, what are the main characteristics of this machine? Good morning. Thank you, Professor. The great uh, innovation of, of this uh, machine is uh, the connection between uh, the patient at home and uh, the clinical staff in uh, the hospital through the modem uh, that sends the treatment data from the home to the hospital and also receives the EPD prescription from the hospital. We are now here in our PD center and this is the first page of the share source platform uh, where we can see all our patients in treatment and uh, every line represents the treatment of the last seven days. As we can see, there is a color code. Of course, uh, the green treatments uh, are well performed. Uh, indeed, the yellow and the red flags uh, are symbols uh, that uh, indicate less or more troubles. So, practically, uh, we can monitor as many patients as we want at a glance in the morning when people, nurses or doctors come to the hospital, they can see how many treatments had problems. Now, what do you do when you see, for example, an orange flag? Uh, yes, uh, as a first step, we uh, check in our platform what happened the previous night at home. Uh, if uh, is uh, necessary, I can uh, call the patient at home and uh, talk uh, to him about uh, uh, his uh, problems uh, at home. Uh, maybe, if uh, necessary, I can uh, change the program uh, in the hospital and uh, I send the um, EPD uh, modification to the, host to the home. Uh, and uh, only as a last step, uh, uh, we invite uh, the patient to the center. So we have to say that first of all, the threshold for the alarms, orange and red flags, are just stated by us. We decide when, yes. for example, there is no uh, enough uh, quantity of uh, PD fluid uh, managed, or there are some uh, exchanges that are scared and so on. But the other thing is we have designed an algorithm and we have published this algorithm in blood purification when we show clearly that in most cases we are able to resolve the problems at home of the patient. Only the last, last chance is to have the patient come into the hospital, right? Yes. Now, this has demonstrated that to save uh, time and money for the hospital and for the patient. Can you comment on this? Yes, uh, the most important results uh, that you demonstrated is that uh, we are able to reduce the, alar the night alarms at home and also the, the in-person visit in the hospital, in particular uh, the visits for urgent problems and also the hospitalizations uh, related to uh, dialysis problems uh, such as catheter dysfunction in particular. And also we investigated our patients about their feeling uh, regarding the treatments and the follow-up. And they demonstrated a nice satisfaction when closely monitored by the motor. Yeah, in our study actually, we showed that the number of changes in prescription increased dramatically 
showing that before we could only make a change uh, every month, for example. Now we can, paradoxically speaking, we can change almost every day our prescription in order to achieve the optimal level of tolerance, the optimal level of compliance of the patient and the optimal function of the catheter. So thank you very much. I think that this innovation really makes uh, peritoneal dialysis uh, a true home-based treatment uh, and the possibility of interaction with the center has been uh, a great advantage, especially in the time of COVID-19 uh, pandemic, where we wanted to keep the patient at home uh, for uh, maximum safety reasons. With this, thank you very much for listening today, Cappuccino, and uh, maybe next year our PD course will also be held in English, not only in Italian. Have a wonderful day. Excellent. Thank you, Professor Rocco.